newlyweds. Yes, it's a newlywed game. Now let's meet our newlywed couple for today. Couple number one, married just five months, Lily and Eddie Muldrow. Couple number two, married just 12 months, Lisa and David Husher. Couple number three, married just 11 months, Lady and Dan Murphy. And couple number four, married just 11 months, Sachi and Don Marie. Those are newlyweds for today, and here's your host, the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank. And we'll keep our reputation going today when we come back and ask some questions to our husbands and wives. We'll be right back with our predictions on cards and I'll have them in your laps. Now, every time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you'll probably be very surprised. And you'll also get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a grand prize that's been selected especially for them. Ladies, here's your first question. Girls, how many of your husband's ex whoopee partners have you met in person? Lily? None. None? No. Is, are you sure? I'm positive. Are you really yes, sure? Yes, I am. You are, you I have not met any. <laughs> right, okay. Eddie said you have met none. Right. <laughs> Lisa? It better be just one. How many? One. Just one. All right. David said it better be just one. Right. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Who, who, who was she? She's, well, <laughs> do I have to go into that? She's this other girl in the apartments we lived in when we first met. Oh, and you knew that they had a thing at one time. Yeah, I knew. I was almost right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a little weird, isn't it? Laney? If he's honest, he'll say one. Let's see if he's honest. He said one. That's right. Yes. <laughs> do you know who she was? I mean, do you know her? Is she a good-looking girl? No. Is she a good-looking girl? <laughs> uh, I've got her beat. We'll next. <laughs> I see. Sashi. It better be none, because he told me I was the first. Did he? T oh, he told you that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Um, he told you that? Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Let's see. None. That's oh, right. None. Yes. <laughs> next question. Five points. Girls, tell me, what is your worst bedtime habit? Lisa, what's your worst bedtime habit? I would say snoring. Snore? You he snore? He always comes... No, I don't snore, but he, he says that I snore. All right. David said your worst bedtime habit is that you steal the covers. I don't steal the covers. You're the one that calls in bed and wraps them all around you and rolls around like a mummy. Why do I wake up in the morning? I have no covers. I look across the bed and there you are all snuggled up. Well, at night, bedtime. That's at night, not in the morning. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you for straightening him out. I was getting worried about it. They got to be kept in line at all times, Bob. Well, who's they? The man. Yeah, who's they? The what man. the heck are you telling me that for? Then? <laughs> Think you I'm asked. wearing a grass skirt for crying out loud? Well. We don't have to be kept in line at all. You're the one supposed to stay home. They have to be kept in line. They do, huh? Yes. I feel like I'm they. You are. Lane? Uh, he'll probably say I make him go shave because he has really stubbly whiskers and he makes me break out when he doesn't shave. So All I always right. Tell him to he go he shave. said that uh, your worst bedtime habit is, top card for me, please, that you make him shave. That's <laughs> a... <laughs> Sashi! Yes. What is your worst bedtime habit? I steal the covers. You do? I do. Oh. Do you know what he told us? Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> Saucy, no. see this stuff right here? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you did, you did. Oh, I, I can't believe that you do this. I, oh, he did, that I pull my... Oh, oh. he did. <laughs> One at a time. Well, I can't two, pull two. I mean, I don't have a tweezer big enough. Well, why don't you just... them <laughs> off. Because they grow back too fast. So you pull them out one at a time? Yeah, it's painful. Oh, I can I... imagine. But, oh... How often said... do you do this? Whenever they grow back. But by the time they're long enough to pull out, they must be pretty long. Yeah. Tree stumps. Oh, they're not tree stumps. <laughs> he says that, I hope we're talking about the same thing. He yeah. says that uh, you pluck the head leg oh, hairs out, right? No, there's no points. <laughs> they ought to get points for admitting that, though. 
That's oh, a first. I've never heard it. of that. You really <laughs> said it. He what? I didn't think that was a bedtime habit. That's the only time you ever do it. <laughs> no, I do it in the afternoon when you're not home. <laughs> Watching Days of Our Life, I sit and pluck the hair. <laughs> Lily? Well, the, the first answer counts. Well, I have two. I need so one. I, I'll say I sleep with my head underneath the covers. You sleep with your head underneath the covers. All right. He right. said that you're, you're a stranger's bed. You sleep too much is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lily, how long has it been since he's had a haircut? Oh, <laughs> today. today he, had <laughs> he had a haircut today? Every right. time he shaves, he shaves his head. Hey, he ought to pluck him out like she does. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's the last of our five-point questions now. Girls, which of these joke shop, these are joke shop items, that most remind you of the place you went on your honeymoon? Remember the honeymoon? Would it be plastic dog no-no? Rubber up chuck, or having dinner, folks, or wax teeth. Uh, Laney, reminding you of the place he took you on your honeymoon. We went to SeaWorld, and there were these neat whales with these big teeth. So if he doesn't say wax teeth, all right, he let's didn't see if he does. He said it would be top card for me, please. The only card you got it would be rubber up chuck. Where did you go on your honeymoon? Where did you go that I didn't go? Uh, they didn't smile at me. They kissed, the, the thing kissed her, I got kissed but it didn't even smile at me. What'd the whale so, do? The whale? Well, it, it upchucked. Oh, I see. <laughs> Sasha? Sasha? What, what are the three? A plastic dog, no, no, rubber, upchuck, or wax teeth? I'd say wax teeth. Wax teeth. He said Please. the place he took you reminded him of rubber upchuck. Where? I thought that was a good answer. It sounded good. <laughs> Lily. Well, we went to Vegas, so what would that be? Would you repeat it? A uh, plastic dog, no, no, rubber, up chuck, or wax teeth. I don't want to have to say that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, please. Uh, up chuck. Up chuck. All right. Eddie said it was more like plastic dog, no, no, where you went. <laughs> we got broke. <laughs> David. Oh, excuse me. Lisa. Uh, well, we went camping up at his grandmother's cabin. All way right. Back what did it remind you of? Wax teeth. Wax teeth. Guess. He predicted you would say, wax teeth. That's right. Okay. We'll be back with the wives to see how well they predict what the husbands will say right after this movie looks today. What will your husband say the doctor probably did on him the day he was born that he shouldn't have, or did to him on the day he was born that he should not have had? Uh, Lainey? I don't know. Uh, there's no answer for this one, so I'll let him get mad at me, and I'll say that the doctor must have hit him in the face. Hit him in the face, all right. Lisa? I would say hit him in the face because his nose is a little crooked if you look right at it Oh, straight. well, when he comes back, I'll look at him. Hit him in the face. Lily? Face to the left. Well, I guess I would think the doctor must have hit him on top of the head. <laughs> slapped, <laughs> slapped all of his hair off. Oh, just slapped his hair off. It hit him on top of the head. Sashi? I think they <laughs> dropped him on his head and juggled his brains. Dropped him on his head, all right? Next question, girls. If you had your husband stuffed and mounted in your house or apartment... What will he say he would definitely be holding in his hand? Lisa, you're going to stuff and mount him. Oh, I would say a spatula for turning hamburgers on a bocce. He's going to have a spatula in his hand. Lily? Um, probably... Hurry, please. He would... Maybe a picture of me. A picture of you, all right. Sachi? A beer bottle. A beer bottle. Yeah. Lady? A beer pitcher. Lots a, of beer. Lots of... A pitcher of beer, then. Okay. Last of our ten-point questions. Girls, when it comes to Whoopi, will your husband say he's too neurotic or not neurotic enough? Lily? Too neurotic. He's too neurotic. Yes. Sashi? Not neurotic enough. Really? Okay. Laney? Well, he's pretty neurotic, but, I mean, you can't get too much of a good thing, so I would have to say he's not neurotic not enough. Not neurotic enough. Lisa? <laughs> He's too neurotic. He's just too neurotic. Yes. You can obviously get enough of a good thing, is that it? <laughs> 25 point bonus question, girls. What will your husband say is the very last skin he ate? Sashi? Skin? Yeah. Fruit skin? Pardon me? Fruit. I don't care. Any kind. Last skin he ate? Apple. Apple skin. Lady? Chicken. That's easy. Chicken skin. Lisa? Chicken skin. Chicken. Lily? Um, that they have the cracklings in the skins in the bag, you know, that you 
What are they? Eat, um, uh, I guess they call them skins. Is all I know. But no, they I, come I need, in. The, they come in the. In the well, I know. I know. But what? What are bag. they? What kind of skins are? I'll they? just say. Pork skins. Pork skins. All right. Thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on this. We'll hear what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. First question. Gentlemen, keeping in mind how you look today, what did the doctor probably do to you on the day you were born that he should not have? David? Probably spanked the wrong end. Spanked the wrong end. All right. She said that uh, he probably hit you in the face. <laughs> Judge says that's okay. Dan? I think he probably hit me too hard. He hit you too hard. Laney said that he, he hit you in the face, is what he did. No point. Oh, oh, Judge. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Judge says that's okay, too. <laughs> Thank you, Judge. Don? Knowing her, she probably said that uh, he dropped me. He dropped you. All right. She said that he dropped you on your head. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, wasn't it? You dropped on your head and she pulls hairs out of her leg. What a crew. Eddie? Uh, she'd probably say he dropped me. Dropped you, all yeah. right. Lily says that what, what the dog, he slapped your hair off. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I was bored. <laughs> Next question. Gentlemen, if your wife had you stuffed and mounted in your house or apartment, what would you definitely be holding in your hand? Dan? Oh, a can of beer. Can of beer. She said you'd be holding a pitcher of beer. <laughs> Judge says that's close enough. <laughs> Don, she's going to have you stuffed and mounted there. What are you going to be holding in your hand? Well, I love beer, too, so I have to say beer. Beer, all right. She said you'd be holding a beer bottle. All right. <laughs> hey, this is fun, isn't it? I love yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, great time. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> What's going to happen if you win? I don't know. You might get lucky. Pardon I might me? get lucky. Playground might not be closed. <laughs> what, what won't be closed? Playground. <laughs> she wants to get lucky and you want to go to the playground. What is it? <laughs> yeah, but the playground is within the house. Oh, your playground at home. <laughs> Has the playground been closed recently? Yeah, I don't. Uh, even, I have to dust it out. Clothes for repairs, or what's the problem? I think it's mostly barbed wire, Dan. Oh, okay, Eddie. Perhaps a record. I like a lot of albums. A uh, record, all right. Yeah. She said you would be holding a picture of her. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously yeah. not true, but nice. Right? <laughs> what's so funny there, Eddie? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> David? It definitely has to be a can of beer. Can of beer. She said for sure it's a spatula. <laughs> a spatula? Well, you're always frying things on the hibachi or on the farberware oven. You always have to have your little spatula in your hand to flip things over. So I I fry something. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, when it comes to Whoopi, are you too neurotic or not neurotic enough? Don? This is not erotic, this is neurotic. <laughs> uh, Great dawn with playground. Too neurotic. You're too neurotic. She says yeah. that you're not oh, neurotic, you're not neurotic enough. enough. It doesn't bother you. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I don't know. Why, why did you say that? <laughs> why did, on, why did you say that? Huh? I don't know. He's, that's why I dropped him on his brains. <laughs> Isn't he romantic? No. Isn't well, it he... depends on what romantic is. You mean like flowers? See, I told and... you playground was always closed. <laughs> I can't remember. Does, does he bring you flowers no. and is he thoughtful? No. Yeah, well... I bring you flowers. Literally. Every year. <laughs> oh. Eddie? Not neurotic enough. Not neurotic enough. She said for sure you're too neurotic, Eddie. Oh my God, what are you saying? I don't know. <laughs> you nothing. You just screwed up on everything. Hey, but he's a nice fellow. <laughs> yeah, he is a nice fellow, but he still... You only have five points, though. What happened? I know. <laughs> Whose fault is that? His. <laughs> it's his fault. Fine. That sure is. Well, I got one and you got one. You... <laughs> I got one and you didn't get any. <laughs> That's probably been a story of your life, isn't it? Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> David? David? 
I'll go with the not. Not neurotic enough. All right, she says you're too neurotic, David. Oh, David. Hmm. Dan? Well, neurotic is a little uh, strange, right? Hey, don't ask me. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I mean, why are you looking at me like that, huh? I probably not neurotic enough. Not neurotic enough. She said that you're not neurotic enough. That's right. We'll be back with a 25-point bonus question. See which couple's going to win their grand prize right after this. 25-point bonus question for 25 points. Gentlemen, what is the very last skin you ate? Let's go first couple number one. Eddie and Lily, you have five points. 25 will give you 30. Eddie, get it right. You will zoom into second place. Last skin? Skin you ate. Chicken. Chicken. All right. She said the last skin you ate was... Card for me, please, Lily. It was pork skins. You don't remember. Couple number two. God, David and Lisa with 20. 25 will give you 45. David, what's your answer? Chicken. Chicken. She said it was chicken skins. Right. <laughs> Couple four. Don is asking with 25. 25 will give you 50. What do you say, Don? Chicken. Chicken. She said you ate apple skins. <laughs> How come you're not so excited now? Wrong. Wrong. Couple number three. Dan and Laney, you have 40. 25 will give you 65. If you get it right, you're going to win a grand prize selected especially for you and your wife. If you miss it, you'll probably ride home with Dan and Sashi. <laughs> Last night. What's your we answer, had please? Chicken. Chicken. She said it was chicken! Oh, wow. Dan and Laney, you're our new again grand prize winner! <laughs> Prize chosen just for you. Your very own complete full size billiard table. That's right, Lady and Dan, you won this magnificent Gandhi billiard table, the Hustler. It features laminated for mica surfaces, marn burn resistant rails, one inch genuine slate mounted on hardwood frame, polished aluminum castings and shields made by Gandhi, Macon, Georgia. And you'll have fun serving your guests from the Servant Soda Fountain. For home or office, serve your favorite beverages using inexpensive brand name concentrates. Serve it dispenses chilled sparkling drinks at the touch of a button and at half the cost. A fantastic game room combo, all yours is our gamest couple on the newlywed game. Dad and Lady, congratulations to you. Thanks to our couples. Thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. See you next time. Goodbye for now. If you've got a cell phone, you could be a winner on live TV. Just get involved. Start texting. Then come through live on air. And you can win a cash prize. It's Play Mania, the hot party game where you're the contestant. A little addictive. Once you win once, you're going to want to play again and again. Show how much you know. And bring home lots of...